right, I'm gonna record it now. Welcome, welcome to your second meeting. Yay, you are in your second week of hormonal balance. Man. And I'm so proud of you. I see your recipes, I see how you follow and even if you don't like carrots, you still eat them. Yay. So amazing, amazing progress. I'm gonna share my screen really quick. So you can, we can go ahead and if you have your, um, your paperwork, you, you can actually open it up right now and start following what I'm, uh, Desiree and I will be sharing with you today. There's a lot of stuff here. I have, well, I see a computer. Yeah, you see my computer? Okay, okay. Yeah. So let's talk about the elimination diet diary. So after this second week, let me mute everybody. Hold on, let me let me go ahead. Um, there you go. Okay. So after the second week, this um, elimination diet, this is the third week and this is the most important part. Why? Because this is how you're going to find out what is it. Is it gluten? Is it egg? Is it lactose? What is it causing you to create this inflammation and extra inflammation in your body that you don't need? And this is what is causing you hormone imbalances, uh, having um, very bad tolerances to food, maybe headaches, things and symptoms that you couldn't explain or maybe you were just tired of having them. Long story short, long time ago when I did this, I realized that I was gluten intolerant. I was having cramps, PMS, and um, night sweats. And I didn't know all this was just gluten. Doctors, obviously, when the inflammation gets worse, your hormones get out of whack. So then you start having all these imbalances. So needless to say, if... I'm sorry for the my intervention, but I, I have friends over here and I try to help you. You see the lady? Yeah. All right. Hey. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I need to uh, I go. I want I need to go. So I'm talking with her about okay. the World Cup, okay? All right. Bye. Good luck. Bye. 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 going back to um, the presentation, I am going back to the um, document that I was telling you. So this is the elimination. All of you, you have this link. You have this um, that it talks about how you're going to start adding up to your diet one of these items. So we have coffee, chocolate, corn, soy, gluten, eggs, and, and dairy. What you and I, I'm going to do it too, is that every day, every two days, you start a new product. So let's say Monday. Monday comes and you start drinking maybe milk or you try some cheese or you try a yogurt and you put the date and you put the reaction. You put food eliminated and you keep this with you everywhere you go. So you say, okay, I'm gonna add lactose or dairy. And then you put, okay, this is the date. And you have to wait two days before you try something else. Why? Because the digest, it stays, that, that thing, the gluten, the lactose, it stays in your system for over 48 hours. So don't mix or add any other products until the 48 hours have passed because you may have still the reaction from the other product and you, you, get, you can get confused. So week th three, this is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna start adding, adding, adding 
and you ha you have to track it. You have the chat so we can go over and and talk about your symptoms. Maybe Araceli noticed something and then Leslie is like, oh yes, this makes sense. I have the same thing. I had the same reaction. And you start learning about your body. This is all about self-awareness. That's the key and that's the empowering part. part. So um, now I want you to go over and check on very important facts about your macros. Macros are three components of very important components for your health. There are the carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. If you don't have one of these items in your meals, then you will start having imbalances. I didn't know this, but the combination of these three will guarantee that your body is still functioning the best, best performance. When something is missing, like in this diet, and then they start doing zero carbs or, or zero fats, what's happening is that your body starts depleting and um, having um, having issues because one of the things that I learned, uh, we learned with Desiree is that fats, it's so important in your body, not only for your brain, but also for hormones. This is what synthesizes the hormones and allows your body to process and move the hormones around your body. If you don't eat fats, remember the 90s? The 90s thing about zero fat, everything but without fat. This is something that, and if you haven't watched this movie, you have to watch it. It's called Fed Up. In this movie, they explained that in the 1980s, there was this um, new law that passed about, uh, a new study that passed about how the Americans were eating oversaturated fats. And in, proje uh, in projection, if this was going to happen for a long run, the Americans will have diabetes and all the illnesses that we have nowadays. So what the companies did, they removed the fat from the products so they can stop this, but this is not, they thought it was only the fat, okay? So they removed the fat from milk, the fat from yogurt, and all the items that you see on the market. What they didn't realize, and what now we're finding out, I realized this on the movie too, that when you remove fat, the items, the food doesn't taste good. So in order for the food to taste good, guess what they add in? Sugar. So everything in all these products that said fat free, 0% fat, blah, 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 fat, it, in reality, they're being, they have been manipulated. They remove the fat, but they put sugar. And what's happened is that your body's not getting enough fat to function. And they say there might be the reason why they increase, first of all, diabetes, obviously, but also the increase of Alzheimer's and problems with the brain because we are not getting enough fat. <coughs> not all fats are bad fats. Like uh, we see the saturated fats are beef, poultry, pork, cows, milk, coconut palm oil, full fat dairy, and you have all this, so you can go over. But another very interesting fact that I wanted to share with you is that if somebody's having issues with hormones, we as a coaches, we should recommend that person to go and get their fat, the protein and their fats from animal source. Why? Because the animal source is the only one that has all the amino acids that your body needs. But not all the animals are made the same. Go for the very high quality. Um, pasture, that means that they're outside in the fields, they're eating fresh, um, or they're cage free in case of chickens. Uh, all this very, very, um, sometimes it's a little bit more expensive, of course, but it's best if you consume that type 
of protein and fats coming from animal source, very high quality, that you don't eat it at all. So vegans, vegetarians, they have to really pay attention to this because they tend to have deficiencies. This is something that we have learned. And again, if you're having any issues with hormones, please look into animal source for protein and fat, but the very high quality because of the amino acids. The only source of, of full amino acids in the vegetarian uh, diet or a vegan side, you can get it from not animal source are quinoa, hemp seeds, uh, lentils, and I'm missing one. Hemp Wait. seeds. What? What was it? Um, soya too, right? Mm. Tofu? I'm not sure that it's soy. I look around and I'll, I'll find it. It will come back to me, but there were four. It was lentils, hemp seeds, um, quinoa. I'll come back to that. It will come. Uh, but I don't think it was um, soy. Soy? Not sure. Um, so what's the potential effects of having um, these fats? So increase the risk of heart disease, this is oversaturated. The monosaturated raise good HDL and lower HDL. If you see what kind of um, monosaturated are, the avocados, the olives, olive oil, sunflower seeds, things that we need to add into our diet. And if you notice in the, um, the meal plan that we're following, there's a lot of this, a lot of good fats that they're replacing and then put in there. We have salmon too. We have uh, the flax seeds and the, the chia seeds that you love. Um, mm -hmm. The ones that we have to avoid are the trans fats, also the margarine, the processed food, everything that is processed, guys. If it comes from the earth, that's what we need to eat. But if it's processed and comes from a box, not. So that's all, that's, that's the main point, those main points um, in how to avoid entire product and don't, you know, try to avoid it at all costs. Go for the natural, go for the grass-fed, high quality organic poultry, organic meat, organic eggs, and all this. Desiree, you wanna go ahead and do the uh, proteins? Can I score? Like, I can do that, right? Mm, let me see if I can give you the... Uh... Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry for the technical... I just, I, just, I just say what I like, kind of felt with when it comes to the protein. Mm -hmm. uh, most people think like the only way that we could get protein is when we get it through the um, meat. And that's what Peggy was saying. If that's the case, if you want to get your proteins through any type of meat, it's just make sure, you know, that is high quality. And even when you go to the supermarket, I know it costs more money. And I know most people will go for the cheap, but cheap at the end of the day, it will cost you more you know, when it comes to your health. So try to avoid everything that um, is not being taken care of the animal. Um, another thing, you um, some of the vegetarian or vegans could get proteins with the grains, with the beans, or oh, the soy, and, um, and soy milk. Mm, most, I would recommend if you don't, it's hard to go sometimes, especially for us as Latinos. We are so used to get meat. That's the way we've been raised. And to say the truth, even as Peruvians, and I was talking to my friends on the weekend, we used to, when my father was alive, we used to have steak for breakfast with two <laughs> eggs. And that was breakfast for us. Okay. That's the way I was raised when I was little. Okay. Um, the good thing on my father, he used to get like the expensive one because he likes those, you know, nice and juicy steaks <laughs> but who knows where they're coming from okay uh and our country too is is different but um 
we could try to avoid maybe meat, not to get a full vegetarian, but if you cut your meat, your meats like maybe like one or two times a week, it will help a lot, you know, for your health. Uh, we could get the beans, we could get some proteins, uh, we could get it from the soy, the soy milk, the nuts. Oh, let's cut out. <laughs> and um, some protein bar, the protein power that we have, our Tecology, you know, it has more of seven nutrients. So we could, um, I would use it now as the snack and the plants that we did it, like for example, today, I use that as my snack. Um, and lipid greens too are really good, like your broccoli, your spinach, your kale. Sometimes kale, it has more than even like, you know, your milk and that, your seeds. And, um, Uh, that not be, not, I'm not too familiar with the vegetarian culture, but I was with my friend this weekend. She kind of cut meat and I was kind of learning with her on that part. And most people thinking too, that when you get vegetarian or vegan, you're going to lose weight. And most people try to get into that specific diet because they think they're going to lose the weight. And it was funny because I was talking to my friend and she was like, I keep the same way. And as a matter of fact, in the beginning, because she wasn't balanced her um, uh, protein, she was eating more of the carbs. So she has to switch and she was learning on the process that, you know, sometimes you still are hungry. So you start eating more carbs. So you have to be really careful too when you wanted to do that. Um, <laughs> that quantity and the quality is the most important. That's the formula, quality and quantity. If you want to get a like, um, because that will cause you to inflammation. So you have to be really careful with that part. And it's better for your digestion. Uh, like we were saying, the meats, just make sure you know where you get it from. Always try to get the quality. I, even myself, I trying to get more of the eggs. I try to get it like um, cage free, even though the other one is cheaper. And the other one was the case-free organic. It was a little bit more, but it's worth it at the end. Uh, and the fish uh, is the wild too. Just try to get the wild. Uh, and then be careful too with your dairy and the bees. Oh, as a matter of fact, I got bee steak on the weekend. It was really good. It was really, really good, not different. And it would kind of look like a lot of steaks, cut it in pieces. So it was really good with some onions on top. It was really good. It was really, really good. Awesome. That was beef steaks? It was beef steak because my friend is vegeta vegetarian. So we, when we went to eat, we didn't sit on the menu and then the lady, she was, she pointed to us. I was like, the first thing you read is steak. So you kind of avoid it. And she's like, no, it's beef steak. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, and it was really good with some cauliflower type mashed potato on the side. So you could come like kind of like dip it on it. And it was really good. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love, I love, I love. There are two types of eating clean. And I learned that clean, uh, clean restaurants. And one is that it's out all the flavor, and that's ridiculous. And the other one is using the vegetables in a way that you can enhance the flavor. I love those. They're a little bit more expensive. Like mm -hmm. Vegetables are, I don't know about you girls, I, I, I wasn't like a super fan of vegetables or grains. Every time they were saying grains, I was thinking about the cereal, and I thought that was grains. And now that after I learn all this, I'm like, you are so wrong. There is so much out there, and uh, I feel like now knowing what I shouldn't eat, and knowing what it hurts my stomach, I have more options because we see the recipes, we see it every day, something different that you can do, like these new restaurants and stuff. It's like taking away a lot of the mental, um, I used to say um, mental, how can I say this? Like mental blockage. I used to feel like food was the enemy. 
And if you ever had suffered from any um, eating disorders like I did, I used to suffer from bulimia. You understand that the rela relationship with food starts changing was when you start learning about the food and how it reacts with emotions. So mm -hmm. the vicious cycle of emotions and um, eating disorders, it's a nonstop until you create awareness. And that's why I love all this learning. You create awareness and that gives you the power to switch. So there. Um, let's go to inflammation really quick. How many of you had ever had sinuses? Like you feel it, oh, all this is full of sinuses. Yeah, and your shoulders just hurt and everything hurt. I'll tell, you, I'll, I'll tell you a little story about this. Uh, like two years ago, I got into a car accident. I got hit from the back and I was in bed for a long time. Me as a fitness instructor, that hurt. My body was super sore and I didn't know. Nobody explained it. The doctors don't take time to really explain you what's going on. That was my first kind of big accident. The inflammation is normal. Your body needs use this inflammation to heal you, all right? So when the car hit me, inflammation came in and everything started hurting. Not the first day, it's like the second or the third day that you start feeling it. But uh, the time passed, I was in therapy and everything, you know, I was getting back to normal four months into it. A year passed and my pain came back. Very, very high intensity pain and I was in tears and it was so bad. I went to the doctor, he's like, doctor, I don't think I'm getting any better. What is going on? I mean, I should be better now. I, I am start doing my routines, I need to know. And the doctor said that, you know, they send me for more CAT scans, they gave me more medicine, they inject me a cortisol on the back. I mean, they try all these artificial things. And that, I noticed one night, it was the pollen season, that I didn't drink my allergy pill. I used to drink allergy pills every night. And the night that I didn't drink it, that pain came. And I'm like, hmm, it might be related with inflammation now that I think my mind started putting things together. It was pollen season and my body it was still healing from the pain but by because of the inflammation was pushing those nerves that's why my my pain came back and then i realized you know the inflammation comes from other source not only from my healing procedure like it's not that the issue wasn't the hit by the car it was my internal inflammation long story short uh, I learn about the gluten. I learn about all these things. Now I don't drink any allergy pill at night. I what? don't have my sinuses in, anymore inflammated. When pollen season comes, I know it's pollen season and I may get half of a, if it's very bad. Like you see the yellow on top of your car and you start mm -hmm. like it's coming. Two things, probiotics, and prebiotics, so your immune system is high. And third and second thing, learn about what is causing inflammation in your body. It's internal, it lives with you. It is normal, but it's not normal to keep it for too long. What happens if you keep it for too long? Diabetes, cardiovascular uh, problems, and cancer. That's why overweight people have more chances to suffer from these illnesses. It's not because of the sugar or the carbohydrates, it's for the actual inflammation in the bodies. So, causes of inflammation, omega-6 uh, fatty fats, refined sugar, we already talked about sugar, how bad it is for our bodies, refined grains, and refined grains, remember the cereal? That's mm -hmm. what Whole grain, whole grain. Whole grain. <laughs> it said whole grain in the box. It says whole grain. <laughs> Got vitamins A, B, and C, and F, and 
M and M. Okay, okay. <laughs> and why i mean you come to the That's place right. and you believe these people know better on how to feed their their, their citizens and you have to watch that movie um but up is so good yeah. and uh casein is one of the ingredients that there is linked to um uh asperger's and um autism so mm. keep an eye on that for moms Pesticides, herbicides, heavy metals, chemicals, I mean, uh, you, you name it, it is everywhere, especially on those plastic containers that we use to put our food. Yes. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on those. I switch everything to uh, crystal. Yeah, exactly. okay. yeah, I have to buy my glass containers. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I am I'm an advocate of having everything in mason jars if you see me you see my refrigerator packed in mason jars i recycle mason jars mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that's my thing uh stress guys we have to manage stress stress and we're going to talk about uh ways to manage stress in the next uh, few weeks it is so important there are techniques there are things that you have to start doing today so you can start listen you can make you can follow the best nutritional plan, best workouts, but if you have stress, you're not going to lose any weight. That's it. There's no way that you can lose weight if you don't reduce the stress in your body. It's the inflammation that is causing, internal inflammation that is causing you to keep that weight with you. So traumas, loose, you know, infections, fractures, cuts, abrasions, that's normal, like my accident. And then uh, excess of obesity, heart disease, lupus, arthritis, celiac disease, um, Crohn disease, genetics, family history. How to prevent and reduce inflammation? Again, it's regular food, blueberries, dark chocolate, yay! <laughs> wild caught salmon like Desiree was saying ginger turmeric guys I keep a ginger root in my refrigerator all the time mm -hmm. I even put it to my alcoholic drinks did I say that, that <laughs> I made a blueberry um, one thing um, there is gluten in alcohol mm -hmm. I used to drink a lot of beer but um, there is one in, I'm not saying this in a recording but uh, there is a vodka called a Tito's. It is gluten free. So oh, I that's my nice. Tito's with my blueberries and my ginger and a little lemon zest. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. And that's it, right. You know, it, it's, it feels good. I, mm -hmm. I see, you've seen it. I, I made the other day in, um, in life, anyways. Actually, yeah, beer gives you like, uh, you know, al otro día cuando yo tomo beer, me da, um, yo me siento cansada al otro día. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the symptoms. I mean, you, you, yeah, remember, you have to write it down. You can't. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wrote it down already. <laughs> oh, my. I'm not like a beer drinker, but we had beer on the weekend because it's like, like the town is known from beer and we got sidra. Um, that's what I was said, like put it in the picture, but I, the most I could do is two, two, two cups and I'd be like bloated. Like I get full, like mm -hmm. I was like, I ate like two big meals. That's what I can't <laughs> drink beer because I, I with one and I felt already like mm -hmm. two, I was like, <laughs> that means, because of that, you know, that's the town, you know, so you have to go there and taste it, but I'm more a wine person. Beer is gonna be like. Eh. <laughs> Not for everybody. I used to love beer so much that that was our thing with my husband. We were visiting all breweries because here in Tampa is a big thing. All the breweries all over. And look at me now. I'm just drinking Tito's. <laughs> here, here and there, if it's something very special, different, mm -hmm. but I don't do it the same way. I learn. I learn. And and people say sometimes, how you keep that um. That commitment, that, that, that dedication is not that. It's like, I know how bad I was feeling. Mm -hmm. I want to feel the same. Like, mm -hmm. I remember, like, 
this. It was always a headache. It was always a, a symptom. They have pain, gas, noises. Oh, horrible. Oh, so, so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a little change. Like, you know, like I, like I said, I don't, I'm not person that drinks beer, but we went, you know, was on vacation and it's like, I said, like the town. You know, it was different flavors and you name it. They had apple, peaches, pears. Like, I was like, okay, you know. Uh, it's got a kind of like one champagne. I was like, okay, let's taste it, you know. <laughs> and I have one more tip. And you know me, you know, I'm, I love exercise. Exercise changed my life. And during that transition mm -hmm. that I was telling you the story about my accident, mm -hmm. I started doing yoga. And yoga helped me to heal. It was not the hard workout that I was normally doing. I am a dancer. I love Zumba too. I couldn't do that yet, but I did yoga and it helped me to release inflammation inside. That too. And it's 30 minutes. You, if you do 30 minutes, three to five days a week, it will make a huge difference. Not only in the weight, but also on the chronic diseases. Because you release or you release hormones that will make you happier, and once once that is, I mean, the whole body just goes into a chemical reaction. It's like falling in love, but you have to do it and be consistent because you don't have this this wave of feelings, and it sounds like a, oh, these this are crazy, like a un un pacto, un grupo, you know, it is true but you have to create the habit and the habit is consistency dedication and having a plan that's why i love what we do with beach body because there's plans i mean you cannot skip it it's this and today we're gonna do this and that's it you do it and it's 30 minutes that's all your that your body needs um desiree you want to talk about the food labels i know you like these <laughs> well i'm not perfect at it i'm learning you know, still working on what it's called, like, you know, some of them it would tell you like, um, they have that low in calories, but you had to make sure to on the sodium part, because that's what I used to get before. I used to like check out like, okay, it's only 100 calories, but then it's had like 800 milligrams of uh, sodium, which kind of makes no sense because that's going to cause what we say, Peggy was talking before, inflammation. Mm -hmm. and we don't know why we said we only had this this is calories a day um we had to make sure too when um when it says um gmo is really good too and what it was leslie very five ah, remember <laughs> that see <laughs> she, like, she makes a seed this weekend just like but you had to make sure it says very five okay <laughs> so that's really important too um the free range are good when it comes to the eggs um mm -hmm. uh, it has to be USDA USDA approved as well. Um the grass feed too, even in the batters, you had to uh buy that one. It's more healthy, um, less greasy. Another tip too that I learned this weekend. Um if you never taste them, it was really good. It was um like the toasted bread and it said to use batter, you could use um coconut oil so you get your healthy fat on it toasted delicious yes right leslie we yes eat that this week. <laughs> <laughs> so um make sure to hormone free um like when it's organic to try to buy I, i'm learning now and i'm trying to get more familiar too if you have um uh, farmer markets around the place that you leave is good too to have good connection with them and get something that is raised on in the town that you leave mm -hmm. especially if you suffer too for pollen try to get the um, the honey from the place that being raised it's mm -hmm. good for that. i got the bee pollen from the bee pollen one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so make sure your hormones free and when it says um the grains, when it says all the vitamins and your cereals too, we have to be really careful on that part. 
And what else? I thought you got frozen. Uh, the faster a race too, it has to um, make sure uh, what the animals was raised and had they been um, fed the animals as well. Um, actually, um, I'm start taking a couple of stuff out of my house and trying to clean what it says, the closet, especially with my son that he likes the cereal and I thought it was really good for him. So we start cleaning that part. Um, I'm trying to like to get everything like uh, it's being more on the natural. Um, and um, what else? And I think, does that beg in the part? That's it. Okay. Free natural, not irradiated. Are and hormone friends especially, too. So. Um, it is true. What, what Desiree says also, I like it uh, about the um, farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Talk to the farmer's market and find out what are their uh, ways to raise their products and uh, how their eggs, because sometimes, and it, it is true, organic label is very expensive. Yes. yes. Local farmers can afford it. But the uh, the way they act, the way they cut, the, they put the the, um, the vegetables in the razor animals, it is organic. So having a conversation with them and find out which are the practices, it helps you help us to support them, and at the same time getting very healthy organic products. So that's something that we learn and. Um, it is, it is good, it's sustainable, it's part of what we are here for, to help each other, it's just holistic. Mm -hmm. and that's what we should be doing, it just creates a circle of life and, and energy into all the things that we do, because imagine, I mean, we're helping them, and karma, and you know, you get it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's easier to get it from the box and just cook it, I know it takes a little bit more time, but at the end, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. At the end, it's really worth it. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna and I, I'm going to tell you one story, too. My mom went to the doctor yesterday, and it was funny because my mom is not, like, completely overweight, but, you know, she, she had her pounds, right? And she has a lot of, like, illnesses. She takes a lot of medication, but the, she went yesterday to the doctor and was with her all day over there. And she came out and she's like, oh, doctor said I lost six pounds. And I was like, okay, so that's good. But the way the doctor makes it sound is kind of like, what's wrong with you? You know, is everything okay? And inside me, I was like, instead to share her app, like, you know, you're doing good. Um, mm -hmm. You lost six pounds. Um, keep doing it like that. You know, you, we should get like this goal for you next time that you kind of visit you lost another five pounds. It makes it sound like, so wrong with you? Everything mm -hmm. okay? Do you need any tests? I'm like, I was like, Ma, no, you should be happy. It's six pounds. You know, mm -hmm. you should start losing more pounds. But you see, that's what I'm saying. The doctors are more, what medication I could give you? Is something wrong with you? You should do this test, that test. Mm -hmm. So we gotta be, we trust our doctors, but we have to be really careful too. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes, not all the time, you know, especially when you have an infection that maybe, you know, to tomar una antibiotica, pero, you know, if I don't have to take it, then different, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're be really careful. Tell listen me. to the body. Yeah, listen to the body, that's true. Mm -hmm. I would like to hear from you. How are you been doing? How are you feeling? What, which are your thoughts? Are you, any concerns? Any questions? About the elimination diet that we're doing right now? Well, I'm feeling. Yo he notado como que I'm not feeling that tired. And, you know, I was telling you I, I feel tired every day. <laughs> you know, <laughs> at thirty, like maybe like seventy. <laughs> you know, so um, well, you know, the positive side, I'm feeling better i'm not feeling tired like i'm i'm used to it 
So um, I'm also, I don't have inflammation in my sinus. So I usually have, you know, and I don't have the pain in my neck and all the inflammation that gives me, you know, travels all the way to my hip and my foot, you know, and I'm feeling better. So it's That's probably awesome. the, yes, I'm so happy. Yay! Yay! You know? and then the other day, um, I tried, like, my son was eating chips and I was like, oh my God, I want a chip. <laughs> 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 right, right there. and I had like three chips you know that I, I had a headache I got a headache and I was like maybe something maybe the chips you know the salt mm -hmm. of the sodium and you know it was a lace chip you know like, it's just it was so good but oh maybe man. ingredients maybe there's mm -hmm. some and you just mm -hmm. when I write it down mm -hmm. like the ingredients mm -hmm. and then see try another um tips and then mm -hmm. see if you have the same effect and look at the ingredients again you have to become like an investigator yeah, yeah. food detector <laughs> <laughs> i like the um <laughs> i like the carrot carrot cake but i notice um the, the chia gives me like because i suffer from like i don't suffer but i have my blood pressure is usually in the low side and chia can give you um can lower your blood pressure as i was reading and like no wonder i was feeling like a little like i ate it or whatever but then i was feeling like a little eh, you know and then i just ate my grapes with walnuts too you know i needed some sugar i guess yeah so i just did that but it's good it's two days you know it didn't bother me it bothered me a little bit but then i just ate my walnuts and and grapes and that was fine you know That's but um yeah mm -hmm. you, you have to because it's natural but it can affect you a little bit too you know yeah mm -hmm. so, yeah to keep that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so that's what i did but I'm, I'm feeling better yeah and then my co-worker told me oh your eyes don't look that glassy like you know i'm always like tired and my, my eyes were like red all the time and you can tell in my eyes you know that i'm not too healthy you know Mm -hmm. so, and she go up in both eyes. Huh? <laughs> now you go up in both eyes. <laughs> I'm going to tell Patty, I'm going to no more. <laughs> no more. I mean, I did drink, I'm not going to lie, I did drink some caffeine, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm missing my energizer. I'm like, where is it to, make, to do my workout? So in the morning, I did have, like, a, I don't have a whole cup of coffee. And I drink it black with no sugar or anything. It's just a little bit, a little something. I don't drink it, but um, it's not nothing, you know. I do have that. What else? Um, oh, I I know the um sweets make me tired. So cuando yo como una galleta, oh my god, next day I'm done. That's it. It makes me very tired, so I can't eat that. I try not to, you know. I know it. Oh, I didn't have no eggs, no lactose, no dairy, so no cheese, none of that stuff. So mm -hmm. we'll see next week how it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Monday, the first day, I didn't, I wasn't prepared, so I that was the first day last week. I had um, I had yogurt. Oh my god, I was so bloated. I was so bloated. And then the next day, I was fine, and I didn't um. Uh, you know, yogurt, no lactose, you know, and I was fine. But I noticed that um, the chia or, you know, the elimination days makes me, it makes me go to the bathroom a lot, like, you know. <laughs> so I've been going to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Araceli. That was awesome. I'm so yep. happy to hear that you're doing better. How about you, Leslie? I'm feeling great. I shared with Desiree that it's a lot of work, but it's mm -hmm. worth it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm learning and also like just creating, planning, preparing, mm -hmm. measuring. Um, but it's all worth it because I'm learning a lot. That's awesome. And how are you feeling? Do you feel anything different from when you started? Um, I feel great. And I had shared that with Desiree as well because she had asked me. And I, I feel great. You know, I'm feeling like I have more energy. Um, and that's great because that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I need any more images. That's awesome. How are you how, how are you sleeping now? I sleep well. I've never had a problem with sleeping. Okay. I always make sure that I sleep seven to eight hours. Always. That's nice. Awesome. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. How many of us were like so envy? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like, oh my god, I wish. Like I sleep seven no. Top I sleep six hours, six hours and a half. That's it. I make the time. I always make the time to sleep yeah. seven to eight hours. That's something that I do. I love yeah, it. That's good. We abused her this weekend, but 